Okay, this is uh, an introduction to the equation of a straight line, and this is the normal formula for it, y equals mx plus c. And I've got an example here, y equals 2x plus 1. Uh, so the m in this case is 2, and the c is 1. And uh, what we're going to do is pop it all into here, I've got the x values here. We'll work out the y values, and then we'll plot them and see how they look. I realised I haven't got my grid up, so let's just pop that in there. That's better. So let's do the first one. X value of minus 2. We'll pop that into this. 2 times minus 2 will be minus 4. We add 1 to it, so that's minus 3. We've got this one. Minus 1 now. 2 times minus 1 is minus 2. Add 1 to it, be minus 1. 0, well 2 times nothing is nothing. Add 1, we'll plus 1. I'll put the plus there. Um, and then we put the 1 in. 1 times 2 is 2. Add 1 is 3. And the final one, 2 times 2 is 4. Add 1 is 5. Let's plot these and see how they look. So the first pair is minus 2, so x is minus 2, y is minus 3, so go like this, minus 2, minus 3, first one's there, uh, next one's minus 1, minus 1, that point there, 0 and plus 1, so that's here, and then we got 1 and 3, ok, 1, 3, like that, that one, and then we've finally got the last one, 2 and 5, so 2, 5, just there. And we'll, we'll see, I think you see they're all on the line, so let's, so we can put a line in, see what it looks like, see if they all line up. There we are, and that is the line. I think it's always a good idea to label these things. Y equals 2x plus 1. You can see that all the points, as calculated, they fall on this line. And let's see now what the M stands for and what the C stands for. Well, if you look at the C, we said it was plus 1. And we'll look at this Y value here. There, that's plus 1 there. And it's when X equals 0. And, of course, this bit here disappears when x equals 0. So y is always equal to the value of c at x equals 0. So where is x equals 0? It's there. And as we can see, we read that off. That is c. And that is called the intercept. or the intercept because it intercepts the y-axis when x equals 0. What about this, uh, the m part of it? Well if we look at this, when we go along 1 on the x, how far do we go up on the y? We've got 1, 2. So that is called the gradient. And that's the value of m. So m is the gradient of the line, and c is the intercept. And that's the case for every single straight line, where y equals mx plus c. Um, c is where it just crosses, and the m is when you go along 1 on the x value, it's how far the y moves. Um, it's sometimes shown as a slightly different way and I'll just show you that here. To another way of working out the gradient it could be could be if you were actually went along more than one, it'd be any value along the x. So let's see what that means. Um, if we take this point here and call this um, what was the x value? Minus two 
and the y value is minus 3 and we take this one right up here you can take any points on the straight line really um, and that one is 2 and 5 it's sometimes done where you can say the slope the gradient m equals y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 whereas this one that's x2 this one's y2 this one's x1 y1 I know it sounds a bit complicated but we see how it all works so we put the y's in y2 is 5 minus the y1 which is minus 3 put that in a bracket there and then divided by x2 is 2 minus the minus 2 let's look at these then that's 5 minus a minus 3 well minus a minus is a plus so it's 5 plus 3 is 8 and this one 2 minus minus 2 that's 2 plus 2 that's 4 on the bottom so it's 8 on the top divided by 4 8 divided by 4 is 2 and we're back to our gradient m here but I think is a better way this all looks a bit complicated and sometimes you've got to work it out this way you've only given two points and you've got to work out the gradient but wherever possible if you just think if you move along one on the x it's how far the y moves sometimes they go up and sometimes they go down and the slope's going up like this called a positive gradient when a line's coming down like this it'll be a negative gradient um, it's all looking a bit complicated around here so I think I'll just rub some of that out and we'll have a bit more of a look at it okay okay we've now got this second uh, equation here y equals 2x minus 2 it's similar to this one 2x plus 1 the gradient is the same it's 2 um, but the intercept the c is different this one was plus 1 this one's going to be minus 2 so we know the intercept is minus 2 so let's plot that first pop that there and then we've got the gradient is 2 so it means for every one we go across we go up 2 there's going to be a point there we go across 1 again and up 2 like that and of course coming back this way we can go back that way and down to so I'll draw a line there and my usual way is to label it y equals 2x minus 2 and the first thing we can see is these two lines are parallel because they have the same gradient in this case 2 they're going to be parallel lines so that's one question you might get asked is draw a parallel line to another line and all you have to do is change the intercept value to anything really as long as you keep the gradient the same is 2 then these lines will be parallel or if the gradient was 3 you just make another line with a gradient of 3 or whatever uh, I'll do one more line and show a perpendicular line to it like this perpendicular to these two lines so that's going to be a line like this y equals minus a half x and we'll put it through 1 so we know it's the first point is uh, I've got to put x there as well half x plus 1 so when x equals 0 y equals 1 so the intercepts there on the 1 and we, all we really need is one more couple of points let's try putting the value um, x equals minus 2 into this minus 2 times minus 1 is going to be positive 2 so 2 over 2 is 
1, add another 1 to it, 2. So when x equals minus 2, y equals 2. And obviously going the same thing over here, just following it across. When we're going across, what we did there, we went across 2 and up 1, across 2, up 1, do a couple of here, 2, 1, there, and a 2, 1 there. Just plot that line. Okay, I'll just label it as well. Y equals minus a half x plus one. So the intercept's the same, and I think what you can also see from this is that this is a right angle. I said I'll make it perpendicular to it. And because they're parallel, that's going to be a right angle as well. And if you look at this gradient compared to the gradient of the first two lines, the 2 is on the bottom. And the rule for this, a line that's perpendicular to it, the gradient changes from m to minus 1 over m. Yeah. So if you've ever got to put a line which is perpendicular to another line, that's the gradient of it. Yeah. And another problem you might get, you might just get given all sorts of problems to solve with straight lines. You might be given two points and you've got to draw a line for those two points. Or you're given a line and you've got to find whether another line goes through it at a particular point, that sort of thing. So what I'm going to do on the next video is do um, a few works examples that appear in GCSE foundation and higher level. See how it all fits together. But uh, just to recap, the equation of the line is y equals mx plus c. c is always the point of intersection when x equals 0 it's where it crosses the y-axis and the m is the gradient which is the slope and on this one here a positive slope goes upwards as you go as you move along the x in the left to right direction then the y increases so that's called a positive gradient this one here minus half is a negative gradient and the gradient is always the same way of working out if you go along x is 1 is how far it goes down on the y axis so this one we go along 1 goes down minus a half so there it is and uh, it's not too bad equation of a straight line, just a bit of practice and it all comes together. Okay, so I'll do a few worked examples on the next video. Okay, thanks for watching.